Hello and welcome to Gary Teaches Maths. I'm going to continue through the Edexcel uh, Maths paper GCSE from 2018. This is the non calculated paper and it's the higher tier. So we're now on to question five. So question five starts off being a question about drawing uh, front elevations. You can also get asked to draw a plan view which would be from the, the top. So that's a plan view if you're looking from above. Or you could be asked to draw a side elevation, which would be viewing it from the side. Now the front view, we're being asked to draw it as though we was looking in that front direction. Um, and what we're given is a grid where we can draw that. So like this, so I'm gonna have to flick between the two pages. So, if we're looking at that front view, the first thing that we can see is from the front, we're, we're seeing this base here, which is six centimetres long. Um, so what we're going to do is represent that as a line, which is six squares across. So let's see if I can do this as a nice straight line here. So starting there, we're going to draw a line across one, two, three, four, five, six squares. That's six centimetres. There we go. That's a line six centimetres across. Um, now, the important thing we can see from the centre is that the, the height of the pyramid is four centimetres. So that's going to have to be, if we're viewing in this direction, we would actually see a triangle, and the height of that triangle would be four centimetres. So, and it's also coming from this centre point here. So if we go up four centimetres, that would take us to there. So all we need to do to complete this front elevation is to actually draw a straight line from there to the centre point and also from there down like that. And that's it. That's our front elevation. You can see that's six centimetres there. And the other important dimension being the height of the pyramid from the direction we're viewing it, which is four centimetres. Okay, so six centimetres and four centimetres. And that's the first part of the question done. The next thing that we're asked to do is work out the total surface area of the pyramid. Now what that would involve then is working out the surface area of each one of the faces. So we've not only got these um, slanted faces, the, the uh, triangles, each one works out to be a triangle, we've also got the base. So because it's a square pyramid I'm going to work out the base first of all. So the base is a six by six square, obviously six by six is a square, and to find the area of that, we're going to multiply the sixes together, and the area is 36 centimeters square. Now the uh, the vertical sides, as each one's a triangle, so we've got four triangles. And each, each triangle is like this. You can see we're given this dimension, which is five centimeters. So we know that from there to there is five centimeters. And we also know that that is six centimeters. And we know the area of the triangle is given by the formula half base, half times base, times height. And the height in this case, by the way, is not this four centimetres, although that's the height of the pyramid. We're talking about the perpendicular height of the triangle. So we're actually talking, that's a, that's a right angle there, which makes it perpendicular. We're talking about 
that length. So this is half times 6 times 5, which is going to make 15 centimetres squared. Because we've got four of them, then what we have, four triangles, is 4 times 15, which is 60 centimetres squared. And so we can just find the total of it now by adding the 36 and the 60. So the total surface area is 36 plus 60 equals 96 centimetres squared. There you go. And we've finished it. Hopefully this has been of help to you. If it has, please like our video. Also, if you'd like to see more videos of this type, either continue watching um, my YouTube channel, which is Gary Teaches Maths, or look at our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Best Thanks for watching.